Good morning, Columbia Central. Mr. May here, and happy Election Day to you all. Um, today, everybody's voting across this country for various things, um, proposals, positions, obviously, for the President of the United States. In just a few moments, you guys are going to vote um, on issues like who's going to become president, as well as um, who do you want to be your district representative in the House of Representatives, and two proposals. There's only four things that we're going to vote in this mock election. Uh, vote on in this mock election. There's just too many things um, on the ballot for us to actually consider um, with this being a school-wide um, vote. Um, and at the end of the day, we'll actually count all these up and see who wins or what issues get passed or not passed according to your vote um, school-wide. Um, this is an unbiased um, guide, and it's just meant to let you know who the candidates are or what the issues are and what the people stand for. And then you can make your vote um, based on either what you've heard here or um, prior knowledge or whatever. So let's get started. Um, the presidential election, the main candidates, there are four of them. You have Hillary Clinton, uh, Donald Trump, Gary Johnson, and Jill Stein. Um, there are two others on the ba ballot, uh, Darrow Castle and Emilio Soltisic. Um, but let, we're, we're only going to go over the main candidates for the sake of this video. Um, Hillary Clinton, she's the Democratic candidate, her running mate for vice president is Tim Kaine. She favors positions um, on increasing taxes on the wealthy. Um, she wants to keep uh, Obamacare or the Affordable, Affordable Care Act, but she wants to improve upon it, as well as tr she wants to try to make college more affordable for people. And she wants to strengthen our alliances in hopes of helping to boost national security. All right, uh, Donald Trump is the Republican candidate. His running mate for vice president is Mike Pence. Um, Donald Trump's positions are as follows. He wants to strengthen U.S. immigration laws. Um, he also wants to try to either renegotiate or withdraw us from international trade deals um, in hopes of making uh, our economic deals better for our country. And he wants to um, enact a more aggressive foreign policy, especially towards the Middle East, and he wants to try to lower our taxes. All right. Gary Johnson, who's running for the Libertarian Party, um, his running mate is w William Weld, or Bill Weld. Um, and he runs on the positions that he wants to shrink the size of the federal government. He also wants to replace income tax with what's called the consumption tax, kind of put everything uh, more together. And then he wants to practice immigration reform, or reform our immigration policies, among other things. Jill Stein, she's running for the Green Party. Her running mate is Ajamu Baraka. Um, she supports what is known as the Green New Deal, something that you'd be familiar with if you uh, go back in U.S. history with FDR, the New Deal. She has something similar where she wants to improve our in infrastructure as well as agriculture and conservation. So it'd be like the New Deal, but more focusing um, on the environment. She also is a proponent of health care. She thinks health care is an important aspect of all rights um, for Americans, uh, as she was a doctor, and um, she wants to demilitarize our American foreign policy, keep it more diplomatic, and not use our soldiers as much overseas. All right, so that is the presidential election. Here is the Michigan 7th District. The um, representatives actually represent our area directly. Um, there are three main candidates. We're only going to go through um, Tim Wahlberg and Gretchen Driscoll, as they're the two main ones of, of the three. Um, Tim Wahlberg, who's the Republican, he's the incumbent, which he's he's been in office, um, and he's trying to keep his seat. And then Gretchen Driscoll, who's the Democrat opposing him, as well as Ken Proctor. Now, um, Tim Wahlberg, he's a Republican, as I mentioned. He's the incumbent. He has positions or issues. Um, he, he works for economic growth, uh, job growth. He also wants to try to keep the federal government fiscally responsible so they're not spending um huge amounts of money that they shouldn't be spending. He also wants to pursue affordable health care. Now, he doesn't want Obamacare, but he wants to um, pursue other ways that are more affordable because he views that Obamacare is too expensive. And then um, he wants to defend our values, such as re uh, religious freedom, um, he's pro-life, um, Second Amendment rights, and so on. Okay, uh, Gretchen Driscoll, um, she's the other main candidate in this uh, race. She's the Democrat. Um, and her positions are she wants to try to improve education, particularly um, funding to educational institutions because she thinks that um, our government's taking away too much 
um, in particular towards schooling. She wants to improve the infrastructure, things like bridges, roads, um, and other things like that, as well as improve community develop, pr development programs to make the community more viable. And she wants to uh, work in a collaborative government. She wants to work to get a collaborative government so that both sides are working together, whether they're Republican or Democrat. All right, um, there's your 7th District uh, rundown. Now, there's some other elections that are on the docket that you guys won't go through. Um, you have the Michigan House of Representatives, District 65, so like our House of Representatives race, but just for the state of Michigan. Um, there are two Supreme Court seats up in the state of Michigan for the Michigan Supreme Court, as well as um, court seats in the 3rd District Court of Appeals, the 4th Circuit Court of Michigan, and the Michigan 12th Judicial District Court, which is in Jackson. All right, those are the other main elections on our ballot. And here are a couple more of the main issues that you will get a chance to actually vote on these two proposals. The first is a village proposal for Brooklyn. Um, and in the proposal, basically, it's to increase the millage or taxes to raise funds and revenue for Brooklyn. Um, and they want to um, create a millage that's $1.35 per $1,000 of taxable income for roads, as well as increase the millage that is at $3.65 per $1,000 of taxable income to $5. And this is in hopes of to raise an additional nearly $50,000 a year in revenue um, for the village of Brooklyn. All right, the last one here is the uh, for the district library um, across all of Jackson. The Jackson, Jackson, district, J, excuse me, the Jackson District Library is trying to get authorization to raise a millage. So it'd be $1.76 per thousand dollars of taxable income in hopes of one keeping the libraries open or programs um going and this increase in the millage or authorization of the millage will raise um nearly seven and a half million dollars a year for the libraries over the course of the next eight years all right now that is the ending of this guide i hope you guys enjoy this and um good luck on your elections and we will see who wins at the end of today goodbye